All right, so a lot of people have been asking me on Twitter and Instagram how to use analytics to handicap a basketball game. So rather than explain this via tweets, it'd be really hard to explain in tweets. So I figured I'd make a video and show everyone how I do it. And now this is my process, but from what I've read from all the professionals and from the most successful handicappers in this sport, everyone seems to do it pretty similarly. If you're not an analytics guy, you're not gonna like this video. You're gonna be very bored by this video. I'm about to get nerdy as hell in this one. So let's get into it. Welcome to the source. Hey, get the source. The source. source. The source. Hey, get the source. All right, so first off, there are four major statistical categories used to handicap a basketball game. Um, and I didn't invent this, by the way. I didn't create these four. You can Google the four big factors, the big four, the four analytical factors. I, a lot of people, most handicappers use these four statistical categories or some combination of them. Basically, in a nutshell, people that are way smarter than me have concluded that these four factors can be used to accurately predict the score of a basketball game. Within reason, obviously, this isn't an exact science. The four factors are effective field goal percentage, forced turnover rate, offensive rebound percentage, and free throw rate. Now, if you notice, I added a pie chart here because these statistical categories, they aren't created equal. Um, as you can see, effective field goal percentage carries the most weight and free throw rate carries the least amount of weight. But it's all incorporated in this spreadsheet I made. Um, it's a regular Google Sheet spreadsheet you can use it in Excel as well. So the best way to show you is we're just gonna cap out a game right now together using the spreadsheet. Uh, that way you can get an idea of how it works. For this video's purpose, I'm going to use Magic versus Mavericks in Orlando. So Orlando's the home team as the sample game to handicap. And this is perfect because this game actually is tomorrow night. First category and the most important category, the one that carries the most weight, effective field goal percentage. Now all this is is field goal percentage that incorporates three point shooting. So it's a combination of field goal percentage and made three point shots that gives you this number. Now me personally, I use the last five games as my sample size. I don't think games that happened two months ago are really relevant in handicapping a game now. Everyone does this differently. Some people use the entire season. Some people use the last 10 games, last 20 games. Some people use the last two weeks. I like to use the last five games. So before I do anything, I'm on nbastuffer.com right now. You can see it on the screen. I'll go right up here and click last five games. Now, after I select last five games, all I have to do is scroll over the team I'm looking for. And this is why I love this site so much. It gives you those four figures. This site was built to handicap games. That's why I love this site. If you scroll over Orlando Magic, you see all the numbers you need right there. The top numbers are Orlando's over the last five games and the bottom numbers are Orlando's opponents against Orlando in the last five games which is exactly the eight numbers we need. So I just enter those numbers into my spreadsheet here. After I enter those two, I scroll to Dallas, scroll over them, enter those two under the away side. Now you can see as soon as we enter those numbers, the spread has already moved. Just from those numbers alone, the effective field goal percentage, we're already at negative 3.52. Now that means right now we're at Orlando plus 3.52. So to help you visualize it, I'm gonna put a graphic at the top of the screen and physically move the spread 3.52 towards the Mavericks. And that's where we sit right now. Next up, force turnover percentage, exact same process. Scroll over the Magic, enter the two numbers, then scroll over the Mavericks, enter the two numbers. Not much of a difference here. The Magic have a slight advantage. So you can see the algorithm pumps out. We have a plus 0.4. So let's move the spread back 0.4 towards the magic. Next up, offensive rebounding percentage, same exact process, enter the magic numbers, then enter the Mavericks numbers. Again, not much of a factor here, slight advantage to the magic, the algorithm pumps out a plus 0.28. So we'll move the spread towards the magic plus 0.28. Last analytical category, free throw rate, same process, enter the magic numbers, enter the Mavericks numbers. Now you see the Mavericks have a slight advantage here. Algorithm pumps out a negative 0.36. So we move the spread negative 0.36 back towards the Mavericks. So now that we've entered those analytics, you can see we have a final number here, negative 1.2. So as of this point, the analytics are telling us that the Orlando Magic, that's the home team, by the way, it's always the home margin. The Orlando Magic are projected to lose this game by 1.2 points. But hold up, there's a few more steps. So right here on NBA Stuffer, we have SOS. It's a category right in the chart. It stands for strength of schedule. And especially for me, because I'm only using five games, this is important to incorporate, because what if the Magic played the Clippers twice, the Bucks twice, and the Nets? 
and uh, the Mavericks are playing weak games. Obviously, that's going to be a factor. The analytics are not going to be legitimate. So we have to incorporate strength of schedule. So let's take the Orlando number, negative 1.21. I put a spot in it. I added it to the uh, spreadsheet here. So let's add negative 1.21 to the magic under strength of schedule. Now we're ready to move on to the Mavericks. Let's look at their SOS. And it's a tough one. It's 2.87. That means the Mavericks have played a tough stretch of games here. When we plug this number in, this should move the line a little bit. And it does. You'll see as soon as we type in 2.87, we see the line movement right away. So here we are. Now that we've added strength of schedule, right now our analytics, our chart is telling us the home team is projected to lose this game by 3.24 points. But hold up, there's two more steps. The first one, and this is a big one and it's obvious, is injuries. So we're looking at analytics for the last five games, but what if one of their main players was hurt and now he's back or vice versa? What if the main player played and now isn't going to play? Obviously, that needs to be incorporated in our handicap. As far as Orlando, the Magic have not had any significant injuries in the last five games. Aaron Gordon's hurt, but he's been hurt for longer than five games, so the analytics are perfect. There are no Aaron Gordon in five games, no Aaron Gordon in this game, so it's spot on. Now, as far as the Mavericks, Kristaps Porzingis has only played two in the last five Dallas Mavericks games. So what does that mean? That means these analytics that we just plugged in they're not incorporating five full games of Kristaps Porzingis. So if he's playing and he's listed as questionable, I believe, we need to add a point or two towards the Mavericks to incorporate him being on the court. So what we'll do is we'll add 1.5 towards the Mavericks. This whole team is slanted towards the home team. So Mavericks are away, so under extras, we'll add a negative 1.5 and you see the spread move right away. Another thing to check for is rest. I kind of incorporate this with injuries, but I guess it's separate. Um, Got to see travel days, who had a day off, who didn't, stuff like that. In this case, both teams are rested, so it's not a factor, but that's another thing to check when you're capping a game out. And you could add whatever you think the point total, the point value should be right in extras. The last factor I'd like to look at is specific mismatches in the game. Um, for this one, let's take a look at the Orlando Magic defense first. I want to see their defense against point guards recently. Obviously, the Mavericks have Luka Doncic. Can they stop him? So on hashtag basketball, we set the drop down to the last two weeks, or at least I like to. You could put it on whatever you want. So I set it to the last two weeks. Scroll down, I'll select Orlando's defense. And as you can see here, Orlando's been struggling against guards. So we have to incorporate that. I'm gonna add a point towards the Mavericks here for Luka Doncic against a poor perimeter defense. Now we'll do the same thing with Dallas defense. We'll click them in the drop down. And in the last two weeks, you can see they're struggling to stop centers from scoring. So we're gonna add a point back towards Orlando for Vucevic because we all know he's a beast. He's a tough center to stop. So he should eat up the Dallas Mavericks defense. Let's add a point back to Orlando. So now we are finally done. And as you can see here, according to the chart we made, the home team, the Magic, is expected to lose this game by 4.74 points. So what we just did is we just handicapped this game at Orlando plus five. Books have opened this one at 6.5. So at the moment, we are leaning Orlando. I apologize, guys. I know that video was long and boring, but I promise a lot of people asked me for that. I wouldn't have just thrown that at you if a lot of people didn't ask me. So um, I made this spreadsheet. You all can have it if you want. If enough people want it, I'll throw it on my website. And you guys can go download it for free. Use this video as a reference on how to use it. And you can get these analytics from a number of different 